Hey there, travelers. I'm waiting for my next patient. This patient is the second largest fish species behind the enormous whale shark. That's why I got a new brush and it's new toothpaste waiting for him. This week we're talking about the basking shark. Oh, yikes. That's what a basking shark looks like? Clear my schedule. We're gonna need more toothbrushes. The basking shark is most widely known for that enormous mouth that they can stretch up to a meter wide. The reason they open their mouth so wide is to get as much water in as they possibly can. Some scientists say that they can have up to 1,500 gallons of water every hour. <laughs> yeah! Only 1,499 more gallons to go, brother! Basking sharks are filter feeders which means they suck in all that water and filter out the food that they want. There are a couple physical characteristics that make filter feeding possible for the basking shark. One is that they have a ton of tiny teeth in their mouth that help trap the food when the water goes by. Second, they have gill rakers. Gill rakers are essentially nature's colander. So all the water goes away and the good stuff stays. However, gill rakers are really long and are able to filter out a lot more than I was with this. Gill rakers definitely get their wear and tear and have to be replaced annually. Some may look at that giant mouth and get really scared. <laughs> Swim! But there's no need. Basking sharks don't have a taste for you. They like really teeny tiny food such as plankton and krill. They also move which helps the water filter through their gill rakers. Basking sharks have an enormous liver. Scientists say it's up to 25% of their total body weight. This secretes an oil that helps them eat less, as well as provides lots of energy throughout the day. Basking sharks are solitary animals and tend to hunt alone, but you can see them in big schools of up to 100 or more sharks during the seasonal migrations. Basking sharks like to stay near the surface and bask in the sun while they feed. Now, little basking shark pups tend to become independent immediately after birth. All right, well, I was just born yesterday. I guess I'll, I guess I'll just get going. I guess I'll go if you don't want me here. All right, I'm leaving. Never mind. Basking sharks have been seen jumping completely out of the water. Scientists believe this is to rid themselves of parasites. It's quite a majestic sight to behold. Roll the footage. Ooh, you weren't supposed to see that, but it was still pretty majestic. Because they're the second largest fish species in the whole world, they have very few natural predators. Humans are their main predators, followed by great whites and killer whales. Due to overhunting and rising levels of pollution in the ocean, Today's basking shark population has severely declined. The IUCN currently lists them as vulnerable to extinction. Because the way they feed, keeping that big mouth open the entire time, they're also getting pollution mixed in with the food that they like to eat. We have to do our very best to keep our waters nice and clear so that they can keep swimming uh, with that big mouth open. Thanks for checking us out this week, travelers. This week's honorary travelers are Mrs. Caulfield's class, who wrote in to Trav at TravsTravels.org and requested to learn more about sharks. If there's an animal or conservation effort you want to learn more about, make sure to email us and let us know. And if you're craving more animal knowledge, check out our other videos and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Keep on traveling and happy shark month!